how exciting is this? Uh, this has come to fruition after so many months of planning. Uh -huh. How does it feel for you? It feels really exciting because it's a whole new chapter of Corrie history and so to be part of that is a bit of a thrill. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really amazing balance has been struck because it's obviously brand new, but it feels really familiar. So I just think that's a really, really great balance that Rosie and the design team have struck. So um, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and where we're sitting now is particularly poignant. Um, yes. this, um, it's all, I mean, you must be so pleased with how it's turned out. And how important was it to you and the whole of Coronation Street to, to, to represent the, the solidarity of Manchester? It was, it was really important. I can't really overstate how important it was, but um, when the tragedy happened last May, it was really clear to us very quickly that we should do something that shows that we stand with the people of Manchester. Obviously, Martin, being such a Corrie superfan, such a huge personality, um, it felt right that we should mark him here as well. So we've worked really closely with the family. Um, all of Martin's friends and family are amazing people. They're inspirational, they're very loving. Um, so it's been wonderful to have them here and, uh, and sort of give them a chance to see it. So the bench is a character in itself really. There's 22 flowers on it, so everyone's represented. And yeah, it will be here for as long as Corrie's here, which is hopefully forever. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, it was really cool. Yeah, and um, the, the, obviously the, the expanded set gives you so many more opportunities for storylines, characters and yeah. storylines spread and you know, mm -hmm. different sites. So, so are, you, are you planning on introducing more characters through this? There will be a couple of new characters. Um, so we have Tattoo Will Do Nicely, which is possibly my favourite name ever. Uh, so there will be a new character there. Uh, the business which is just on the other side of this wall, two existing characters will take to running that. So that will be uh, in the future, probably next winter, I would imagine. Um, obviously it's nice to have the tram stop, that's all quite exciting. But yeah, we're not necessarily looking at expanding the cast hugely because of this. We have cast already who can fill this space, so it will be more about us using the space with what we have already. I've got to ask, who's going to get the first tattoo? It's got to be Roy, right? Norris, maybe? Norris. Yeah, yeah, I reckon he's a secret Inca. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and um, I couldn't grab the boss of Coronation Street without getting a couple of spoilers. So can you tell us what story names are coming up that you're particularly excited for the audience to see? Yes, so uh, the feeling story. I'm very excited about him getting his comeuppance, so that will be good. Um, the David story, I think, is going to be a challenging watch, and it will dovetail in with another story, which will also be a challenging watch, but I'm hoping that we're being very considered in the way we tell those stories, so hopefully that will show. Um, I'm very excited about the Rovers drama, everything with Eva and Toya, and the baby with Peter, so that will be good seeing that unfold over spring and summer. And then Michelle and her two boys, the Ibiza club DJ and the doctor, and how that all works out when everyone's kind of in one room together. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Good mix. And it's still as exciting as ever being the boss of Corey. With this exciting thing going on, so many big stories are getting talked about so much. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is this job still a thrill for you? It is. It's, do you know what? It's, it's funny because when I first came here, as assistant producer, when it was at Key Street, I remember coming on a weekend on my own and just sitting on Maxine's bench outside the Rovers, and you do get a bit of a gosh. And then, of course, you know, it, it's, it's a job and you come into work every day and you kind of, you sort of get more used to it. And then something like this happens and you think this is history again and you get the thrill again. So, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's a real privilege to do my job and I'm surrounded by a brilliant team. Everyone works so hard at it and I'm really proud of it. So, yeah, it's a thrill. Thank you.